Let's go through an example of using Green's theorem to compute uh, the line integral over a closed curve C. The, the curve C in question is the triangle uh, with vertices 2, 0, negative 2, 0, and 0, 2. Uh, so C is a closed curve, and our vector field F is given in coordinates by cosine of x plus 2y and 5xy plus e to the y. So the, the problem is to compute f dot dr over c, but we're going to use Green's theorem. So we're going to rewrite this, this line integral as the double integral over r, where r is the, the solid rectangle of the curl of f dot k dA. Now this is the coordinate free version of, of Green's theorem. Um, so on one hand we need to understand what the region R is. Now R is probably best represented as a type 2 region so if I think of this as x equals 2 minus y and this as x equals y minus 2 then we see that we can describe our points x as being in between these two functions of y and then the y coordinates of our points running from 0 to 2. Okay, so that, that's going to help us actually set up this uh, double integral as an iterated integral and the question is what is this new integrand? Um, well if f in coordinates is, is pq then the curl of f is really thinking of the vector field f as pq comma 0 and the curl of f dot k so where k is the the third unit vector is really just qx minus py so this is the the sort of standard integrand that shows up in in rectangular coordinates when you when you look at green's theorem okay so in in our case uh q is 5xy plus e to the y so uh, qx is equal to 5 times y, the partial derivative of this function with respect to x. On the other hand, uh, minus and the, the partial derivative of p with respect to y is just equal to 2. So this cosine x, we just ignore its constant, and then the derivative of 2y with respect to y is 2. So what we get is this, this line integral of f dot dr over c is equal to this double integral which then I can write as the integral 0 to 2, the integral y minus 2 to 2 minus y of 5y minus 2 dx dy. Okay, and so this is the main sort of new mathematics that, that we're investigating in this with this example is really just switching over from the curve integral to the double integral. But now we're actually going to do the computation of the double integral to, to get the the value of this curve integral that we wanted in the first place. So we have 0 to 2 and then this is a constant function of x and so we get 2 minus y minus really negative 2 minus y. So in the end we get 2 times 5y minus 2 times 2 minus y. We still have this integral with respect to y. So this is pretty straightforward. We multiply this out and we get uh, negative 10y squared and then we get let's see we got a plus 2y plus 10y times 2 is plus 24y and then I have minus 2 times 2 is minus 4 and times 2 is minus 8 so we have this quadratic function that we're integrating and so we get uh, negative 10 over 3y cubed plus 12y squared minus 8y evaluated from 0 to 2 and so when we plug in 0 of course we get 0 so it's just what happens at y equals 2 and so we get minus 80 thirds plus 12 times 4 and minus 8 times 2 okay so so this value is what we computed this double integral to be and by Green's theorem which gave us this equality right here we can compute that the integral of f dot dr for this vector field f and, and this closed curve c 
is equal to this double integral, which we computed directly to be this value.